comes next, the presentation of the cup with the big ears. So today we are taking a quick look at some new FIFA 19 commentary by Derek Ray and Lee Dixon. We have some in-game commentary as well as the Champions League final celebration commentary. So you should enjoy this one. If we can reach 300 likes, that would be appreciated. And this is the number one place for FIFA 19 stuff. So if you're new around here, tap the subscribe button and the notification bell today and you won't be disappointed. So before we begin, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a background to how the Derek Gray and Lee Dixon commentary is going to work in FIFA 19. Now, if you didn't know, they're only going to be available for Champions League games. So maybe if you play career mode Champions League, you will get these two on the commentary. And then you'll have the standard commentary for other games in FIFA 19, like Premier League games or something like that. Or maybe even Ultimate Team as well. So this is a Champions League exclusive commentary. I wish there was an option to turn Martin Tyler off with Alan Smith and just have these two do all my matches. But at the moment, it doesn't look like that's going to be available. The first bit of commentary we're going to be taking a look at is when you hit the ball, you put too much power and then it goes over the bar. So we're going to start with FIFA 19 and then we're going to show FIFA 18 for comparison purposes. Well, he's hit it with far too much height. Well, he's quite a long way out. And if you put power on the ball, and just lean back slightly, it's going to rise. And that time, over the bar. Got a chance. And here's the shot. A real miscue here. Taking on the defenders. Whoa, that's flown over the bar. Whoa, the crowd were up on their feet there. It's a spectacular effort. We move on to the next bit of commentary, and that is when you score a goal. So in this clip, we have Bashuai scoring a goal in FIFA 19, and then in FIFA 18, and we're going to see what lines the commentators use. The ball with Marco Reus. It's with Michi Bashuai. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, he was tested, and he passed the test. Right. Two in front now. Well, keep the concentration and they've won this match, I think. The next bit of commentary we're going to be comparing is just general gameplay when the announcer announces who's got the ball and who's passing it to who and stuff like that. Now it's Alexis Sanchez. Paul Pogba. Young. The official word on the electronic board one additional minute. Here's Goodson now. Alexis Sanchez. Pogba. It's with Ashley Young. Matic. Pogba. Alexis Sanchez. Pogba. Very close in, and very close to the target. Perhaps could have done better. Yeah, an unusual choice, I think, just to try and get power behind it from so close in. And the clip after this is going to show you the official trophy lifting celebration, and it's going to have the official commentary. And this commentary was ported from a Nintendo Switch version of the gameplay, so it's not going to line up exactly in some parts, but I've done my best to try and keep it the same for both, because the footage you're going to see is from the PS4, and the commentary is from the Nintendo Switch version, and obviously they've changed a few scenes because of the hardware and stuff like that, but it's sort of similar anyway, and you can get a good feel of the new commentators, Derek Ray and Lee Dixon. Full time, and the issue has been settled. One team crestfallen, the other jubilantly. Well, there's winners and there's always losers. Fine margins between the two. Expectation wins nothing, Derek. You've got to go out there and seize the moment. And for these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, you have to enjoy it because it passes so quickly. comes next, the presentation of the cup with the big ears. The Champions League winners in 2019. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories.
now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors for 2019. So I didn't think it was fair to compare the FIFA 19 winning celebration commentary with the uh, FIFA 18 stuff because we don't have the Champions League in FIFA 18, so I didn't think it was worth it. So I'm just going to give my final thoughts on the new commentary. That is all I can show you today in terms of new commentary, but I think there's enough there to get a feel of the new commentators. I do think it's a refreshing thing to have new voices in the game. Uh, even though they're only Champions League specific for the game, we can't use them outside of that. I think that's a little bit of a shame. I wish we had two options. Maybe in the future, FIFA 20, FIFA 21, we might have both commentators in the game. But EA, they love their Martin, Tyler, and Alan Smith still. So you're going to be hearing them still for the for the next year, I guess. And yeah, at least we'll get Derek Gray for the Champions League games just to break it up a little bit when you're playing career mode and stuff. But I will leave you with this. You've got to remember that Lee Dixon and Derek Gray have recorded probably more lines than what I've shown today, obviously. Um, they're not just one line for different scenarios. They've probably recorded three or four different ways to say the same thing. Just like when you hear Martin Tyler and Alan Smith do commentary in FIFA 18, it'll be the same thing. And if you guys could leave a comment letting me know what you think of the new commentary, I would like to have a discussion with you. Uh, like I said, I think it's a bit of a break, but you guys might feel different. You might even be sick of the voices already. You might not like these two commentators. So let me know down below what you feel. So thank you to those who have bought my career mode transfer guide. If you haven't got it yet, it's only five bucks and the link is in the description. It's going to enhance the way you do transfers in career mode. And I've recently updated it with chapter 60, which is the new real faces added with the World Cup update. So it's going to tell you potentials and stuff like that. Really good value at a very cheap price. If you want to watch another video, tap the thumbnail on your screen right now. If you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.